It's a movement. It's a mission. Um, and the people that work here are missionaries. The mission is to expand knowledge. Have people see more, the correct, some of the perceptions um, of the past. And it's also the staff. It's um, a relationship they have with, with the visuals and the objects. Um, they too are on a voyage of discovery, as I have been all my life. It's amazingly living and amazingly uh, visual, but it tells the story of the human condition using um, objects as uh, the language. We shall never surrender. And if I do not for a moment believe this island Pathé News was the first to film suffragettes when they were novelties back in 1913. 1945, I thought, was the end of the old world order. It was the beginning of the dawn of a new day. All my life, I've been um, fascinated by um, man-made objects. Nature, I admire but avoid. everybody, the Wilsonian is a very different experience. For me, it was always the unexpected experience, the museum that I had never seen another one like it, the only one in the world, really. And every time I came back to it, there was something that I had no idea that I was going to see. So I was always surprised in a pleasant way. I was always curious, I think, after I left. It doesn't fit the definition of a museum as we know it. I mean, there's toasters, there's exercise equipment, there's paintings, there's sculptures. You know, most of this has been eliminated from museums, and so we're not used to seeing that all brought together into one institution. When you have about 180,000 things, we have a very broad collection. The Wolfsonian is part of Florida International University. And as I had mentioned, we are an educational institution and we are part of an educational institution. And so everything that we do here is meant to be leading to the teaching of people. We're looking at objects that are from different countries, different time periods, and we unite them all under a shared idea so that people can see these things anew. And as a result of that, we can create very complex exhibitions, and that makes the Wilsonian truly unique. This Art Deco district is an incredibly important part of the history of Miami Beach. This is the perfect location for the Wolfsonian because Mickey is not about making the same types of judgment. He was not trying to create a temple to culture, and that's really what the Metropolitan is and a lot of other museums. What he was trying to create was an institution that would help us understand all of human creations. The Wolfsonian is the repository of the material that defined the lives of the 20th century. And to support us means to support the history that's so important to our current lives. There, there was a number one object that I collected. And that did influence um, the rest of the uh, um, story. Um, it was a book. 
And I must say, um, in the end, I am proudest of um, my library. Um, it's a remarkable library of, um, I think, almost 100,000 volumes between Genoa and uh, Miami. Half of them were unknown in the New World, and I'm particularly proud of that. The objects that got away from me are the ones I most coveted. In the end, the Wolfsonian is a movement. I supply the uh, alphabet, and they take the letters and create narratives. Well, the Wolfsonian is incredible. It's a piece of Miami Beach history. They know that art is about ideas translated into life. In the collection of art that they have is it's a unique destination with artistic, historical value that they really need. It's something that generations to come are going to understand and appreciate.